Well, well it was uh, morning all. Um, started uh, with a, a wild wheel. Fairly deadly thing, you know. Um, big, big gloves. And it's just a question of just taking some of the loose stuff off with the big wheel, then I'll go on with a smaller wheel. Clean off the front, because evidently the front has to have a little bit of paint on it. Um, um, I've tried to avoid pounding it, but it's going to have to have some. So um, there's still a bit of rust up there to do. Started drilling holes uh, up here where the seam goes. Um, of course, up here where the seam goes. Gotta just uh, do that. The grind is a bit too rough. Um, I've got to grind this loose stuff off here and take this off, which is that other layer I've said. Um, and then clean up this side. This side's not looking too bad. Um, I'm afraid taking the bolt out here to cause this to sink in a bit. Uh, a little bit frustrating. Um, I might see if I can get it out because there's no structure at the back. It, it, it's just crushed in. It's only one piece of metal. Um, a little bit piffed about that, but I'll see if I can get that a little bit better um, so they can see it. It's just crushed in. Um, as I try to get this bolt out, and I tried very hard, and it did come out uh, loose and tight and tight and loose, and etc. So, just to clean up, lots of holes to be drilled uh, where it's got to be tack welded across here, and I've got to do the ones in here, but they'll be done on the piece I've got to put in. So, um, I've still got to just make sure that's pushed together, as you can see, open, close, uh, to get the structure. And um, once I get a few tacks in and it looks okay, what I will do is then is I'll cut the uh, footwell out and try and get that done so I can tack it all in together. Um, and then, as you say, check it as out as best I can. Check the measurements, of course. Check the, the measurements across the doors. Um, and as you say, I have got a little bit of work to do. Um, but take your time. Although at uh, is at the pit, there's one gentleman selling the uh, Series 3 uh, bulkheads for this £1,400. It's very tempting, but uh, as I said, it's a question now trying to get this up and running at a cost, uh, and it's already mounting to quite a few thousand. And so, of course, what you're trying to do is get it up and running. Then, if an ongoing restoration, which is a new bulkhead, then fine, put a new bulkhead in. If it's a chassis, put a chassis in. But at the end of the day, you want everything running perfectly as best as you can on a Land Rover before you even contemplate that because there's just no money in it. I do this for the love of it. And you don't make vast amounts of money, I can assure you. Uh, I won't make any money on this, um, but I intend keeping it as two vehicles, so just to annoy people. But anyway, we'll see. Um, bit of a ramble, but you get the general idea. Um, it is a pain fixing it. I have got the time. Um, inclination is a little bit lost at the moment, but I have personal problems. But uh, I'm overcoming those slowly. And uh, as you say, move on upwards and uh, F U C K to the rest of them. Cheers. Right. Um, I think I've checked everything. Um, checked, checked, and double checked. Um, so. I'm going to put a few tacks in this corner. Oops, I must have put this on and off dozens and dozens of times, checked as best as I can, and uh, drilled enough holes in it to tack round all round. As you can see, yes, I'm going to have to do a few down one side and move and jerk around a bit and just check it. But it'd be nice if I can get it done so I can get the footwell in as well. It's pushing it a bit today, there's no rush. Top's lined up pretty good. I don't know you can see down there. But, uh, yeah, okay. Bit of welding then. Cheers, folks. Well, bit of cleaning up to do, as you can see. I've still got a uh, stitch or tacking down the far end there. Uh, I'll work on that. I've just got to put the whole thing through. I'm just cutting the footwell out uh, for the footwell. See if we can get a little bit more done today. Um, Managed to do it down there. I would have to put some food in here. Um, it's quite, it's quite, it's okay. Um, but it's only a single skin there at the back, and then it's quite. But it, 
this, yeah, well, as you say, just needs a bit of skimmer. Um, wants a bit of a sand down. And then once this clean enough, where all the uh, rivets have come out, you know, the welding. Once this bit of a smooth down with a little thing I've got, um, and then it wants these holes patching. Uh, and the little top here, as you say, it's not the best, as I said. I never said it was, but you know. It will uh, it will do when I clean it up, and uh, it'll do for now. It's still cheaper than uh, uh, me buying one, although not by much. Well, it is actually. So there you go. Get the foot wells in. See what happens. And uh, yeah, looks better than what it did before. Cheers, folks. Uh, I've managed to temp well, not temp, but um, start to put the footwell in. Uh, cut out, which is self-explanatory pan in the bottom, um, still got a piece to make up on the side there, it's only just uh, a couple of tacks in there, uh, I'll finish it off tomorrow, I've had enough now, it's getting late, um, and I'm not the best of welders at the best of time, so um, I've got to redo the top, um, uh, grind out lock and stuff, uh, I have no idea, just idiot, cheers, let's get in there. Morning all, um, as you say I've been away for a few days, uh, got a swimming pool in the back garden, which is an upturn really full of water. And uh, this is the cab roof I've bought. It's not too bad, and the back, and um, it does work. A lot of money paid for it. Um, but you've got hoops with it as well, which I don't want. And you've got an old blue canvas, which I've just tucked away out of the way in the conservatory. Just threw it in there at the moment while I'm just doing a few little jobs. Uh, Faded as you say, it's past its sell by date, but it might be a use for somebody. But I'll put it on eBay, no great rush. And then, uh, what I've decided to do is uh, strip the roof down. Um, Lou wants the sides back, so I'll strip the sides off. Um, it's all part of the process. And into the spoon pool, and then at least then I can uh, uh, sort out a little bit more of my garden and uh, start on the stage one. Uh, I was going camping this weekend but uh, I've decided to try and put a bit of effort into the stage one, try and get the bulkhead done. Uh, sorry I'm rattling a bit here. And uh, yeah, and uh, a few bits of cleaning jobs and see if I can get a bit more done on this. It's got to be done. So there's the roof. I had to strip it while I was in there because I couldn't get it uh, on my, uh, in the back of my uh, Land Rover. So. Uh, it's a good day, it's not raining, so quite a bit to do, Guess just going back into the flow. But anyway, uh, there's the roof, uh, cab roof, I'm quite happy with that. And uh, so let's strip this old roof down and uh, get it sorted, cheers. <laughs> 